Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This one is the SEL Premium. There is four trims you can choose from. There is the SE, SEL, SEL Premium, which is this one. And then the Limited, this one is the SEL Premium. So let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there's going to be a 2.5 turbocharged four-cylinder engine that is connected to an eight-speed automatic transmission. This engine produces 277 horses and 311 pound-feet of torque. And by the way, you could get the Santa Cruz in a 2.5 non-turbocharged uh, four-cylinder engine, but this is for the lower trim. Anyways, the fuel economy numbers on this turbocharged engine, 19 in the city, 27 highway, and 22 combined. Here is a Masabi sticker of this truck. If you guys are interested in the standard features this one has just go ahead and pause the video and the price on this one is 37,000 if you guys are interested in the color the color is called sage gray and it does look pretty good on this Santa Cruz and definitely a color that stands out coming to the front I love the way how the front of the Santa Cruz looks like it is definitely very similar to the Tucson but it is more aggressive. It does have a different grill. The Hyundai badge is nice and big. And for the daytime running lights, they are different than the Tucson, but they do have a similar look or similar design. Even the grill has a similar design. For the daytime running lights, they are LED and they look like they are part of the grill when they're off, just like the Tucson. And when they're on, of course, you could see that they are lights. The turn signal indicators, right here in the front they look amazing I love the design and I love the fact they're LED and the high and low beams are going to be sitting in projector tubes everything right here in the front is LED which I love and the grill is going to be finished in brushed aluminum I think the design of the grill looks good and that bottom is going to be finished in brushed aluminum as well and there is as I said four trims you could choose from but only the SEL premium comes in all-wheel drive and the limited comes in all-wheel drive the other trims come in front-wheel drive and the bottom is going to be finished in flat black and it does have a bottom grille and overall the design looks nice and aggressive but definitely not aggressive like the other trucks here is a side view of the Santa Cruz and the side view looks all right, nothing too crazy. This is not a full truck, so it doesn't have that uh, split design where the bed is not connected to the uh, cab. So everything is connected and it does drive like a um, SUV and it is a Honda Richline competitor. As I said, side view looks all right. There is a good amount of plastic around the wheels. So on the fender flares and in the bottom, there is a good amount of plastic. And by the way, the ground clearance is 8.6 inches. And for the rims, the rims do have a good amount of rubber on them, which is expected from a uh, pickup truck. The size is going to be 245, 60, 18. The design is not that crazy, but I'm glad that there is a good amount of rubber on this pickup truck. The window trims are going to be finished in flat black. It does have a roof rail and it does have a sunroof and the shark fun antenna is going to be finished in uh, gloss black the mirrors are going to be finished in the same color as the suv but the bottom portion of the mirrors are going to be finished in uh, flat black and they do have a uh, blind spot monitoring system and they do have turn signal indicators and it does almost have that roof floating design right there and overall, I think it does look pretty good from the side. But let's go ahead and move to the back and I'll show you the back view of this Santa Cruz. Here is the back of the Santa Cruz and the back honestly looks right. I really wish that Hyundai made the tail lights look a little bit different. Everything right here in the tail light housing is going to be halogen. So the turn signal indicators, the running light, reverse is going to be in the bottom and it is halogen. The only thing that is LED is the third brake light. And I really wish that Hyundai made the uh, tail lights or the lights here in the back LED for 37,000. I think they should have. Each track badge with 2.5 turbocharged badge are going to be on the right. Santa Cruz is going to be imprinted in the tailgate, which is a nice touch. Hyundai is going to be written right here, which I love. And here is the backup camera. I'm really upset for 37,000 truck to have halogen lights here in the back. I think Hyundai cheaped out big time. 
they're going to be a bed step reflectors are going to be right next to the reverse lights and the exhaust is right there but there is nothing on the left side and something that I noticed you could actually see the exhaust from the side right here which I'm not a big fan of so I'm not sure why Hyundai did it this way but maybe the only way they did it this way is because there is a storage place right underneath uh, a trunk inside of this bed so maybe that's why they did this and I completely forgot but the fender flares do have this rugged look I think it does look good here is a key it does look like any normal Hyundai product it does have a really nice weight to it and it feels nice and solid it does have five binds on it lock unlock tailgate release panic bind and a remote start button to drop the tailgate there's two different ways one on the key and one right there so you hold down the button and the tailgate will drop it does drop nice and quick and the bed size is going to be 48 inches honestly it's too high and it's not big so it does look pretty big on the camera but it is definitely small when you compare it to other trucks there, were, there will be some tie downs some hooks and there is this adjustable um, basically a hook or a tie down some LED lights on the right and left so that's good and those are LED lights are nice and bright and there is a cargo light right there it is actually very nice and bright and you could close this cover if you want to so let me go ahead and close it just to show you how it looks like with the cover closed so you pull on this and then you actually have to bring the handle to the front for it to lock in place or if you don't do that then it's going to roll back to its uh, position but that's how it looks like when it's basically closed and they're going to be a storage place right here on the right and they're going to be an AC outlet and same thing for the other side but does not have an AC outlet on this left side but there's a good amount of storage place inside of those uh, cubbies and another thing that this Santa Cruz has does have a trunk in the bed just like the Ridgeline but definitely the Ridgeline is bigger it is deeper but I'm glad that Hyundai added this storage place right underneath the bed here is a front door panel and the front door panel looks all right mostly everything right here in the front door panel is going to be plastic even this top portion is going to be plastic I love the brushed aluminum with the gloss black across the door this is going to be plastic but it's textured plastic this is plastic door handle feels nice and solid window switches mirror controls nothing too special nothing too fancy I really wish uh, there they had a little bit of brushed aluminum around those buttons they're going to be the armrest right here it is nice and soft wrapped in leather plastic plastic which is completely fine in the bottom good amount of storage place but I really wish it was a little bit bigger for our truck a speaker in the bottom it does look right and the seats are nice and comfortable design looks okay I really wish it had a better design seat controls are going to be on the side with lumbar support but let's go ahead and move inside this Santa Cruz and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside Alright, so here is the interior of this Santa Cruz and the interior is just like the Hyundai Tucson. For the steering wheel, it does have the same design as the Tucson. It is wrapped in leather and it does have some brushed aluminum right here. The bottom is open, which is nice, but for a truck to have this steering wheel, I think it is a little bit on the softer side. I really wish it was a little bit more aggressive, uh, to be honest, but uh, the uh, 10 and 2 grip, they're nice and thick. The feeling of the leather is nice and overall it is a nice steering wheel but not for a truck 
the buttons right here, they're going to be finished in gloss black, the volume controls, voice command, and on the right is the uh, cruise controls, Hyundai safety um, features, basically the adaptive cruise control and the steering assist. This button right here will control the screen in the middle. And by the way, this LCD screen is a 10.25 inch screen. Resolution is very good. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of the way how this uh, screen looks like. I feel like it's something they thought of at the last minute and they slapped it on. So it does look kind of cheap. But the resolution, as I said, it's very good. When you change the drive modes, nothing changes or the gauges, they don't change. Unlike the, I, the Santa Fe and the um, Tucson on the right. This is the wiper controls for the front and back. It does have some paddle shifters. They feel nice and solid. And on the left is the headlight controls. And there is a good amount of glass black on those uh, controls. In the bottom, there are going to be three binds, brightness control, cargo light bind, and traction control. And the emergency light bind is located up there. This whole thing is finished in gloss black. It does collect a good amount of dust. I did say that in my Tucson review. There are going to be some touch sensitive buttons on the left and right. This screen is an eight inch screen. It does look okay, but I'm not a big fan of the gloss black around the screen because it does collect a good amount of dust. But the system itself is nice and responsive. It does have a volume wheel and a tune wheel and the vents look good. And coming down, here is the climate control. Climate control is very easy to use. Fan speed, AC, off, auto, and by the way, all those buttons are touch sensitive. You could change the modes from here. Here is the sync button. It does have the passenger temperature and driver uh, temperature. And it does have an auto function, three stages for the auto function. So that's nice. And in the bottom, there will be a wireless phone charger, a little bit of storage place, two USBs and a 12 volt. And here is the shifter that will control the eight speed automatic transmission in this Santa Cruz. It does have plus and minus, so you could change your gears this way, or you could use the paddle shifters if you want to. Cup holders are nice and big. Good amount of gloss black on this center console. It does have heated seats three stages each and here is the drive mode it does have the lock bind basically all the wheels will spin at the same time if you're stuck in snow this becomes very helpful hill descent the button to turn on the backup camera without putting the SUV in reverse and I completely forgot to show you the backup camera but the backup camera resolution is okay it is nice and wide but it's not the best resolution here is the e-brake brake hold and the armrest is very hard. It does have double stitching right here in the center. And inside there is an okay storage place. I really wish it was a little bit bigger, but it's not too bad. I really wish it did have a USB or a 12 volt inside. The mirror looks good. It is al almost frameless. It does have garage binds right underneath it. And it does have LED lights, which is nice. And this should be expected in a $37,000 uh, truck. Here is the button to open the sunroof. Another button to basically uh, keep the lights from turning on when the doors are open. Blue link. And here is the sunroof. It does have a standard size sunroof. And the visor is a little bit on the skinnier side. It is wrapped in leather does have a halogen light and it does have a massive mirror. Here is a back door panel and Hyundai cheaped out big time right here in the back. This is plastic, plastic, plastic. The door handle feels nice and solid. The armrest is plastic in the bottom. This is plastic, which is fine. But what's crazy is that there is no storage place in uh, this door panel, which is crazy. Speaker in the bottom looks the same as the front. The window switch looks the same as the front window switches. They're going to be a bottle holder right here, but seriously, this whole thing is plastic for 37,000. This is not good. For the back seats, there is barely any leg room in this Santa Cruz. The Hunt Ridge Line has bigger 
leg room right here in the back. I think the Tacoma is about the same. For the headroom, it's pretty good. This is a truck. To bring the seats up, you have to pull on this and bring them up. They do lock in place, which is good. To bring them down, do the same exact thing. Pull on it and bring it down. Underneath the seats, there is a good amount of storage place. And on the other side, there are going to be the jack and the jack tools. And something that is crazy that I noticed is there is no armrest and there is no cup holders here in the back. Definitely this is not good for a $37,000 SUV. And they're going to be a manual window. I think they could have put an automatic window and put a button in the front for you to be able to open the back window from the front. And there is no USBs. There is no AC vents. There is nothing here in the back. And that's how the front of this Santa Cruz looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. I would like to thank Sam and Key Hyundai in Milford, Connecticut for running me this truck. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.